charger. Hope you know the more you keep track, the longer it stays. Thank you. Dude, you gotta be getting close by now. Mm -hmm. I mean, how much are cameras really? Can you just get one of those camcorders with the screens that like pop out or something? Uh, yeah, if my debut is gonna be an 80s porno. <laughs> Look, they are super expensive, especially the ones that you can actually make something with. I'll probably just put it down in a house around here anyway. Uh, you should. Anywhere would be better than living with your mom. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I think I'll uh, just go live with your sister. Yeah, chill. Alright, see you tonight, right? Yeah. Alright. See you around. Okay, and how'd that make you feel when that happened? Oh yeah, okay. Well, what, what, what did he say after that? Talking to yeah, tonight. I'm fine, Dylan. You know, I've seen you hungover before, and you never act like this. What, mm. I don't understand. Allison's home. No, she's not. She's she's in college no, for the man. summer. She said the roommate she was having problems with apparently decided to stay the summer, so she came back home. And I mean, I didn't know if I should tell you or not, but I just didn't want to like keep it from you. No, I'm. I'm glad you told me. And uh, I think she wants to see you. Really? Is that her? <laughs> That's her. Hey, hey, Dylan. 
wait, wait up. Listen, you can't keep leaving your dishes in here, especially the smoothie ones. They get all... Gone. Allison's home. What? Where are you going? You, you're going to not follow the plan? Well, I figured, why not fall in love again and have my heart broken into a million little pieces? Well, listen, be safe, and if she does break your heart again, she's going to have me to deal with. I'm sure she'll be shaking in her boots, Mom. You. <laughs> Are you ready? First day back until I'm gone forever again. You mean until you decide to quit your college career and join all of us beautiful people here, right? Funny. <laughs> I'm ready to go back again. You have no idea. Yeah, I just couldn't tell. You've only been talking about it since like middle school. Oh, no. no. Didn't have any boxing lessons at Salisbury. Is the reverse broken or something? Have you met your new roommate or know who she is or anything? You know, I don't have to know much to know that she's going to be better than Andrea. Oh, uh, yes. Andrea, the devil in a dorm room. Exactly. But I've done my snooping. Her name is Serena, and she seems super sweet. Yeah, they all do until they're doing coke off your nightstand at 3 a.m. <laughs> You know, maybe I'll have to do it first. Assert dominance. Hilarious. Stop. But you know you don't have to worry about all that. Yeah, I, I know. Is Jason? He worries all the time. He worries that I'm gonna hook up with random people. He thinks that me and you just come here to make out. I'm making it seem all bad, but it's really not. I love Jason and all, but like, you don't want to hear about all this. You have shitty friends. Someone asked you. Well, I want to see you, Jason, my shitty friends, everybody. Yeah, well, I'll see if I can fit you in. I have a pretty busy schedule, maybe sometime in the next couple of days. You have the most free time out of everybody I know. Wow, straight through the heart, thanks. Am I wrong? What do you do? Well, I wake up, I go to work, I'll go for a run, uh, go to Nick's, you know, take a shower, you know, I actually do a lot in my days. Oh yes, I forgot you have to do your silly little workouts. Yeah, well, when you're gonna get turned down by every girl in town, you gotta look your best doing it. No, 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 Allison, I would never try to call you out or anything like that, I just... I know, I just, I feel bad, okay? I'm not even worried about it. I just, I want a good summer just as much as you do. Okay, you're right. And it's gonna be a great one. Absolutely. Best one yet. What am I gonna do with you? Shouldn't you be in bed? I know, but it's just one of those nights and I really gotta get some work done. Mm. Well, well, wait, how was it? <laughs> well, I, I think she wants to spend most of the summer together. I, uh, I didn't know how much I missed her. Well, that's good. I, I know you did. What is it? Well, I just know how hard it hit you last time when things didn't work out the way you had hoped. And, I mean, honestly, Dylan, I get a little worried. You don't have to worry about me, you know that. Oh, but I, know I, that. I do. Good night. Good night, Dale.
So, uh, what you doing tonight? Oh, nothing. I'm gonna just see Allison. Uh, true, my bad. I forgot that's what you do every single night. Yep. And you're going home. Drinking off, having a drink, and going to bed. I need broke, don't fix it. And you're gonna keep seeing the same girl day in and day out and not tell her how you actually feel. Oh, he fights back. Seriously, though. You can't just keep acting like she's your buddy. It's not fooling anyone. She has a boyfriend, Nick. Well, I heard that's on the rocks. Maybe, but they're still together, and, and even if they weren't, she's going back to college. If that's what's hurting her relationship right now, why would she just trade that for another one? Maybe that's what she wants. You don't know. I do know. Look, wouldn't it be worth it just to be with her for a summer, even if that's all it was? She does not feel that way, Nick. But, but even if she did, even if she did, how could I do that for myself just to say goodbye at the end of the summer? I can't. Look, man, I see how she is with you. I don't know what it is, but it isn't nothing. Well, it's, uh, it's gonna have to be. You're impossible, you know that? Well, hey, hey, slow down. Allison, I, I, I'm so sorry. Okay, I'll be, I'll be right there. I don't know what I'm doing. I... I cannot imagine him not being in my life. I, I just hate this. Well... Whose idea was it? Both of ours. I guess. He's just been all I've known for the past two years, and I don't know what I'm going to do without him. Allison, I, I know. Change is hard, and sometimes the right thing to do is it's also the hard thing to do. You think you made the wrong call? No. I... I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. <sighs> I've been telling myself that I need to do this. That I want to. And he knew about it too. He agreed. This was the plan. I just... I knew it was gonna hurt. <laughs> but I just hate this. I... <sighs> when I go... When I go away, he's not gonna be there. And then... You're gonna go away, and you're not gonna be here, and I'm just so scared, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. Listen, I'm not going anywhere, all right? You can have all my free time, all right? You can call me whenever you want. Why? Why what? Why are you gonna be around? Well, I, I don't know where else I'd be. Going somewhere, doing something, making movies. Allison, we don't have to talk no, about this. No, I want to. I, I don't want to talk about me anymore. Like, you don't want to stay here, Dylan. Allison, that, that, that directing stuff, it's a pipe dream. All right? It, it's not realistic. That is not true. It is true. Not anyone can just... You can. You can do anything you set your mind to, Dylan. I know that for a fact. Dude, wake up. What? What? How'd you get in here? Your door was open. What? Wait, I thought I was driving you to work today. Allison and Jason, they broke up. What? Uh, no, I... no, 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 stop, stop, stop. Dude, dude, this is your chance, Dylan. Oh, Life is literally handing you a silver platter right now. You have to- No, no, I was just telling you because uh, she's super sad and I don't know what to do about it. And what, I do? I don't know, I'm desperate, I don't know what to do. Look, I mean, I was going to have some people over tonight anyways. Maybe we could do like a backyard bonfire or something. Get a bunch of people over. Could take our mind off everything for a night. Okay, look at you with the big ideas. Hey, that idea's free, okay? Next one would be $20. <laughs> I don't think Brian's going to be there, do you? 
I mean, yeah, probably. Dude, she's had a crush on you since, like, the sixth grade. You do not need to be scared of her. I prefer it'll get um, naked under here. No, my bad. You know, if you end up wanting to drink, I can drive us home. No, no, you're fine. I, I really don't want to get drunk and cry and just in front of everybody. Okay. Are you sure you're up for this? Yeah. But it doesn't look like I got much of a choice. <laughs> Here's the life of the party. Oh, I'm not gonna have much life in me after that. My lady. What a gentleman. Oh my god, I need to give you two a room. Hey, I am so glad you guys decided to come out tonight. Hey, I'm glad we get your pyromania out of your system. It is pretty great, isn't it? Yeah, I think it'd look even better up close. Let's do it. I just, um, I was just enjoying the fire. Well, good, because now you can take a shot with us. Here. Uh, Ryan, I don't know oh, if a shot's what I really need right on, now. Come on, liven up. See, Nick's going to take another one with us. Oh, um, I, I don't know. Uh. Well, so anyway, Nick tells me that you've been making movies since elementary school. What kind of stuff do you make? Oh, uh, you know, like, um, <laughs> drama, um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't really know. Well, Whatever you make, I know it's going to be super great. Thanks, Ryan. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be invited to the premiere. Everybody will. It'll be a great time. Uh, I actually have to go um, do something. Uh, thanks. It's good, good to see you. Okay. Hey. Why'd you run off like that? Something wrong? I'm fine. Can I ask you something? Uh, uh oh. <laughs> Be honest. Of course, done. Have, oh God. have you um, been like with any girls? Like, how many girls have you been with? None. Don't say that. None. Allison, what, what, what do you want me to say? <laughs> Do you just want me to say that when you left, I just started going girl to girl to get some temporary fix or something? Allison, you know me. I just, I don't know, I would have thought... <laughs> you would have thought what? I don't know, that you would have moved on, that you would have gotten somebody or something. I didn't. Look at you. You're sweet, you're handsome, you're constantly there, I just don't get it. You told me no, Allison. I put everything on the line for you, and you told me no. You can't just say no, and then try to say I got over you the, the wrong way. That, that's not, that's not fair. Allison, no, no that, that, I, I didn't mean to bring all this up. I, no, I'm sorry, I, I should go. No, I should no, go. no, don't, don't. No. Come on, come on, let's just go back out there. It was fun, come on. You can, I, I have to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Allison. No, I get it. I, I'm leaving Dylan and I have to go.
It's like a full blown hedgehog, but it has spikes. A porcupine? <laughs> well, whatever it's called, I. Damn it. Dylan! Should we go after him? He lives like 10 miles away. No. Better just let him walk when he's like this. Dylan, are you off today? Something like that. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, there's just a bad connection here. All right, I'm driving. Get up. No, I actually just changed the policy in this vehicle, and moping hours are strictly 9 to 5, so uh, I'm afraid you just missed it. There he is. Look, Dylan, I know last night beat you up pretty bad, but you're not going to solve anything by just sitting in a room all day. I feel like I blew any chance I might have had with him, man. Well, last time we talked, you didn't think you had a chance at all anyways. Look, you didn't do a bad thing, Dylan. I feel like you've had a lot to say ever since she's been back. Now, I know right now you made me thinking that it wasn't the best time to say what you were feeling, but at least you said it. Listen, you can't bank your happiness on whether or not Allison feels the same way about you. You have to be okay with that relying on someone who's being so wishy-washy all the time. Think about Ryan. She would drop everything for you. A lot of girls would. And they're going after the one who wouldn't. I like Ryan. She's sweet, but I'm not just going to settle for someone. I don't want an easy relationship for the sake of it being easy. Allison is the one person that doesn't just want to sit around here. Everyone here likes to do the same thing over and over again. And I don't want to do that. No, Nick, Nick, I, I didn't mean that about you. I... You two want to do something cool. I get it, but just because you have these grand dreams doesn't mean that everyone else has to. I am perfectly fine living out the rest of my life here. I'm fine with working and settling down and having a nice easy life right here just because you hate it here doesn't mean that people who don't are wrong I, i'm sorry I, I, i'm not trying to say that you're less than me man i'm, I'm, Look, I'm just i hope you two work things out and i hope you figure out what you really want Oh, I blew up on her. I told her that she turned me down and she couldn't dictate how I got over her, but I was drunk and an idiot and probably ruined everything. Okay, I'm just gonna block out that drunk part for a minute here and ask you was it what you said or how you said it that you regret? I'm not sure. Dylan, you're allowed to be upset with her. I mean, Love is being honest, and you don't need to sugarcoat things just to make other people feel better. Now, the way you say things is might be something that you need to work on. Deja vu. I've heard that voice twice today. <laughs> well, maybe there's something to be said about it. I mean, I know you're happy that she's going away and you think you can go with her, but really, you need to let her go on her own path, and you go on yours. Uh, you know, you have to make your own escape. How much do I owe you? 
Ugh. It's a family discount tonight. How's that? <laughs> hey, Allison, I, I shouldn't have- No, I'm, I'm sorry. Would you want to meet me at Roaring Point? What, tonight? Yeah. Okay. I figured this is the one spot we didn't go to this summer. I didn't want to miss out. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So, I heard you walked home from Nick's. Oh God, he told you. I just called him, make sure you were fine. He told me. Yeah, well, I, I think it was more the alcohol walking home than me, to be honest. You could have called. I thought you were angry. No, no, not at you. I, not after, not after you left. No. I'm. I'm sorry, Allison. No, like, I stop saying that I'm sorry. Like, when, when you told me how you felt before I left last summer, it wasn't easy for me. I need you to know that. Allison. No, Dylan, listen. On the plane back, all I could think about was you, the years that we spent together, everything we've done. And I didn't want to tell you everything that was going through my head while I was at college because I knew I was staying there. That's where I needed to be, and it still is. But you were right. It's unfair of me to judge you of how you got over things. I'm sorry. What do you think would have happened if you stayed? I'm not sure. All I know is that I wanted you to be on the other side of the airport when I landed. And if you were, I probably would have gone. As much as I know I need to be away, I know that you need to get out of here. Listen, someone like that, someone like you, you can't stay here. You need to leave this place. Allison, I, I don't know if I can. I don't have any money, I don't have a camera. I, I just don't think that's plausible. What's, what's this? Mm -mm. Before you say no, I got a scholarship. Basically, this whole year is gonna be paid for. I don't have to pay tuition. And I get a refund. I'm gonna be fine. Use that to get a camera, please. Allison, thank you, but I can't take this. Th this is your money. I have to find a way to make things happen for myself. All right, I, I appreciate it, but you, I can't take this from you. All right, you're gonna graduate and you're gonna need this. I can't take this, this is yours. You're the worst. If you won't take this, then you have to do me one more favor. Yeah? I need someone to take me to the airport. You're the last person I wanna see before I leave. I don't know, I'm kind of a busy guy, Shut so... Dylan! All right, all right, all right, I'll take you. Nick, you, you know you I didn't. just knock on my door, my favorite drinks, and win me back over? Because you can't. Get in here. So, you're dropping her off tomorrow? From that whole beach conversation, it sounds like she feels something too. Might be the perfect time to get her off your chest. I'm not. Sure. Well, you were right. I, I can't keep putting my well-being in someone else's hands. So, what's the plan? Plan? There is no plan. I'm just gonna drop her off and see what comes out of my mouth. So, winging it. That's the best plan as well. You know, um, honestly, I, I thought you were gonna be mad. Well, I was for a solid, like, Five minutes, but uh, I know what you're trying to say. Plus, as much as I hate to admit it, you're one of the only people I actually enjoy hanging out with around here. Sit down.
Here you guys go. Have a nice one. Thanks. Nice. Thank you for the still. For what? I thought we were splitting the chat. Guys. Shut <laughs> up. I mean, for driving me. How are you feeling? Sad. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna miss the sleepy little town. Finally grew on you, huh? Maybe a little bit. Yeah, it was a good summer. Feeling tired. Maybe we should get home. Sleepyhead. Oh my god. How long was I out? Long enough to start snoring. You're joking. <sighs> all right, all right. Well, only my favorites get to hear that, so count yourself lucky. Oh, I'm honored. Thank you so much. Hey, hey, come on. I, I actually scheduled your crying hours for uh, next week, so. You're going to have to get back with me then and give me a call. Alright, I should get my stuff. I can't thank you enough, Dylan. I'm serious. Hello? Dylan. All right, well, I should go. Hey Dale, if you're reading this, it means I've left, and it was probably the hardest thing I've had to do. If you're reading this, it also means you did not convince me to stay, and thank you, because I would have, and that is not where I need to be. I have so much love for you, Dylan. I don't think I'll ever meet someone like you, and part of me feels like an idiot for walking away from that again. But hey, if I'm supposed to find you again, I'm sure I will. And if not, I'll be the first one in the theater opening day to watch your first breakout hit. You made this summer one to remember, and you know what? I think I might actually miss our sleepy little town. Wow, who knew I had that in me? Be all that you want to be, Dell. I know you can, and I'll be cheering you on from states away. The summer was the best one yet, and we might even make a good movie, who knows? Love, Allison. Are you sure this is okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the millionth time, I've already talked to the boss. It's fine. And what? I'm supposed to be you? Yeah, but I mean, really, you, you could be anybody. Hey, don't touch that. Look, if this is going somewhere, I just better begin to cut. Yeah, let's let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay. All right. <clears throat> 
well, to get this over with, so what do I do? Just walk in? Yeah, this first stick's pretty simple. You just walk on in. Alright, fine. Oh, yeah. There you go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, 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 just like that.